Hello, this is a quick demonstration on how to import your quiz questions into the Moodle question bank. The first step will be to click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and select more. Scroll to the bottom of this page. In the question bank section, click import. The file format that's most common to import into the Moodle question bank is the Aiken format. To get an example of the Aiken format, you can click on the question mark icon next to the Aiken format. Select More Help. The pop-up takes you to Moodle.org and their description of the Aiken format. Scroll down to see the example of the format. What you see here are two different examples of the Aiken format, and there's a couple important things to notice. One is that none of the questions are numbered. Since Moodle likes to shuffle the order of the questions, you don't number your questions on the import. The next important thing to notice is that below each question there is an answer in all caps with a colon, a space, and the correct letter choice afterwards. So when you import your questions into the Moodle question bank, Moodle will know exactly which choice is the correct choice. We need to be mindful of that as we create our quiz questions to import into Moodle. Now if you're starting from scratch, the most popular thing to do is to copy using your mouse and paste it into a word processing document. On your computer, it's time to open up a word processing document. Now if you're starting from scratch, meaning you haven't written your questions yet, I highly suggest that you start in a very sterile word processing program like Notepad on the Windows machine or TextEdit if you have a Mac. If you've never opened up Notepad, you can type in the search in the lower left hand corner of your screen and search for Notepad. Click on the icon to open Notepad. So this is my Notepad program and I'm going to edit and paste what I copied from that Aiken format example. If I have a bunch of different questions that I want to ask, what I might do is paste this a few different times. Control V actually pastes. Now that I have a few examples pasted in, I can simply change the question and then I can change each of the answers. It's also too important to note that if you ever want to do all of the above, Moodle also likes to shuffle the order of these answers. So you don't want all of the above being answer A. In a clever twist, instead of saying all of the above, you could say all of these choices. Or in this case, I say none of these choices. You can see there's consistency in this format, and Moodle is rather picky about you matching up to this format. Again, notice that these questions are not numbered. They have a capital letter with a period and a space after it. You want your question to be on one line. The Moodle Aiken format also does not contain pictures, so if you're asking a question that has a picture in it, you are going to have to edit the question after the import process to add the picture. When you're done adding all of your questions, save the notepad document as Name the file and make sure that it's a .txt document. The other thing to be sure of is that the encoding is set to UTF-8. Save the document to your computer. If you already have questions, say you've got questions already typed in a Word document, you might need to fix a lot of the formatting that you have. For example, if you are used to printing out your quizzes and you've got the name of the quiz at the top, you need to delete that. If there's an area for a student to write their name down, you need to delete that too. So make sure that the very, very top of the document starts with a question that doesn't have a number next to it. Also make sure that your Word document has the answer in all caps with a colon, a space, and the correct letter choice. 
using Word is not the optimal system for this because there is a little bit of extra formatting that Microsoft likes to put in the word processing document that might cause some glitches with your Aiken import. Instead of saving this as a Word document, go to the File menu and go to Save As. I'm going to save this to my desktop, but instead of selecting .docx, instead I'm going to save as .txt. When I click the Save button, it asks me how I want this encoded. Select Other Encoding, and then select Unicode UTF-8. Click OK. I can now close out of Word, and I have the text file that I made in Notepad here, and the one that I made in Microsoft Word here. Going back to my Moodle course, I'm on the import screen within the question bank. Select Aiken format. Within the general section, you might want to select the question bank category that you want the questions to go into. The default setting is set to stop on an error, meaning if you try to import 50 questions, and only 20 of them import, you'll know that there was an issue with the 20 or 21st question. You can open back up that document and fix that question and try importing it again. I can drag and drop my files here. Drag and drop your file and click import. On this screen, it'll show you all the questions that I've imported. Like I said before, if I had a dozen or maybe 50 questions and only four of them were imported correctly, you'll know that there was an error in the formatting on one of those questions. Here, I know that I only created four questions, so my import looks great. Click Continue. That takes you to your question bank, so you can see all of the questions that you added to that question bank. If you still have questions on how to add these questions to an actual quiz activity, we have other help documents and other demonstration videos that show you how to add these questions into a quiz activity.